Hey everyone, Mario here. Hey guys, I uh, hope everybody's doing good. I know it's been a while since I've done a video. Uh, I've been uh, working like crazy, guys. Uh, for all you guys that don't know or don't follow me on Facebook, um, I got promoted from Staff Sergeant to Sergeant First Class. Um, and I've been really busy. I have a lot of stuff going on right now. This is probably our busiest time of the season because we're prepping for our annual training. And um, Well, anyways, guys... Um, as you guys can see this box here, you guys kind of wonder what the hell it is. And like uh, my good friend, Hornet Fixer always says, What's in the box? What's in the freaking box? Well, it's a Delton rifle kit, guys. Now, I'm going to show you guys real quick how it looks like when it comes out from the, the box here. It comes with this nice little foam pad, which is cool. Um, and as you guys can see, it has a uh, military uh, style um, buttstock. Uh, you got your uh, buffer, buffer and buffer spring, and your two. Um, you got your whole lower little parts kit in here, along with the, with the uh, military style pistol grip, and of course your complete upper. Now I'm gonna open this up and talk a little bit about the upper itself and uh, I'll tell you guys a little bit about why I chose Delton um, and why you guys should consider them. Alright, stand by. Alright guys, so here we are. This is the uh, complete upper. It does come with the bolt carrier group and I'll, and I'll be taking the uh, bolt carrier, uh, the bolt and the um, the handle shortly but I do want to talk about why I decided to purchase this rifle kit um, of course I wanted to stay within uh, something that I was very similar and uh, already used to which was the M4 platform uh, with the obsession of the hand guards this is pretty much the same type of rifle that I have in the military of course it doesn't have the uh, 1 in 7 chrome line barrel uh, like my M4 does but uh, you know this 1 in 9 would definitely do the job um, I do like the the way uh, this uh, weapon was made. I mean, it's, it's very, I mean, it's, it's so, uh, looking at it and touching it, I'm telling you, man, you can definitely uh, appreciate the the craftsmanship on the stuff. Uh, these guys did a really good job of making these, uh, these weapons. And um, I, I do like this weapon. Um, just wanted to show you guys. I don't know if you guys can see it. Pick it up. But it's a uh, one and nine. 5.56, five, although 1 in 9 is not bad. I think it's very similar to a 1 in, one in 7. Um, I think you can be a, about as close as accurate as you can with a 1.7 and a 1.9. They're very similar. So, and, and you know for the price, I mean I paid $470 for the $479 for this rifle kit. Um, there's another thing that I really uh, made me want to purchase this weapon. Of course, um, I was looking at a lot of entry-level ARs like the uh, MMP-15, and I know the Stag had some other ones, uh, but Stags were a little bit too pricey for my price point, and so I decided that um, you know I wanted to build my own. Uh, the uh, MMP-15 is a fine rifle, but it doesn't have a forward assist and it doesn't have a dust cover, and those things to me, after you know being 15, 16 years in the military. You, you you know those are like things that you use all the time in the military I mean as a matter of fact I had to use the forward assist on more than one occasion in a firefight in Iraq uh, so to me uh, you know being able to uh, train uh, with a rifle that I'm very familiar with you know it has to be crucial I mean I mean I would be if, if I was to purchase a MMP, MMP 15 and uh, my uh, weapon starts jamming you know I have a tendency of just uh, you know hitting that forward uh, assist and that usually is, does it you know and I've been able to have it and then I'm kind of losing that that training that I want out of it um, another thing I really want to talk about is price and and the quality of the weapon Delton guys is a very good company and guys they're not paying me to tell me tell you this I'm telling you there are some I did my homework on this guys I have not heard a bad review about a Delton the whole time. I, I looked at almost every AR-15 blog that I could find, friends um, that have Deltons, and they all love this thing. 
So I was like, man, the, you know, why am I going to pay more when I can get pretty much the same or, you know, or even better for the same price or even less? Okay, guys, so now we're going to uh, talk about the bulk carry group. And uh, give me a minute, please. Okay, now we're going to be uh, talking about the bulk carry group. Um, and it's a very, it's a very standard um, bolt. I'm not... I'm not very familiar with a lot of the uh, technicalities with the AR-15. I, I just know how to shoot the motherfucker. So bear with me if I don't get so technical on it. And But um, I do want to tell you guys something, man. This bull carrier group is not bad. It's a little stiff, but I'm sure that once you start, you know, after the 200 or 250 uh, round uh, break-in, it'll loosen up. Uh, that's about the only complaint that I've heard on the, on the forums is that the bolt is a little bit stiff at first but then once you start working it in uh, then it's gets pretty good of course guys this is uh, what I would consider more of a entry level bolt it's not bad but uh, I'm sure that there's better out there um, it does have the uh, I don't know if my camera could pick it up apologize uh, but it does um, have that uh, chrome lining on the on the actual bolt and uh, so, I mean, it, it meets all the, the, the basic standards that, that you would need to shoot this bad boy. Uh, so I, I apologize if I'm not very familiar with a lot of technicalities on this stuff. Like I was telling you guys, I'm not, uh, I'm not as uh, crafty as a lot of people out there with that whole AR thing when it comes to craftiness. And, and, uh, but I'm getting better on it. But, you know, this is just a basic uh, charging handle. Now, let's see. Take a look on the inside here, guys. So it's uh, it's very well made, man. I'm telling you, I don't see nothing major on this uh, weapon system. Uh, you know, a lot of the railing is pretty much the same as uh, I would have in an M4. Uh, so, yeah, pretty badass. Really happy with this. Um, now, the reason why I decided to go with a rifle kit over building the upper myself is headspace um i think i was watching one of the youtube channels i don't know if it was uh, such the such channel or james yeager uh but uh there was an, a question asked and and it was asked to a a uh, certified armor and uh, they asked uh, if you if there was something that you wish that people would uh, you know as they're building their stuff that would leave it up to a professional uh, the thing that came up was headspace and to me when you say headspace man I think about uh, you know a lot of headspace and timing on uh, 50 cal uh, you know machine guns for all you guys that have been in the military you know what I'm talking about and uh, I did see a very nasty training event uh, training accident uh, and it involved the 50 cal uh, machine gun to make a long story short um, they didn't headspace and time it right and it ended up blowing up in the in the operator's face. I mean, pretty much uh, broke the nose, broke the teeth. It was pretty bad. So, you know, that that's the reason why I decided to go with a rifle kit. I say, let the expert do that stuff, you know. I, I'm sure I can do the, the lower, and I, I can be good at that. But, you know, the upper, I think I need to leave that to professionals. Okay, guys, so... Um, I'm not going to take this off, but uh, this is your standard um, lower parts kit with uh, with actually your uh, military uh, military spec uh, pistol grip. Of course, you got your military uh, spec uh, buttstock, your uh, buffer spring along with the tube, and your heavy buffer. Uh, so this is actually pretty good. It'll definitely do the job. Um, and I am very happy with this and I'm looking forward to building this thing guys um, one thing I do want to tell you guys that um, just make sure that when you guys are running this bad boy uh, try not to shoot um, any uh, steel ammo on it I know that is tempting especially how cheap that is but uh, you know Delta will not cover your uh, warranty if you shoot um, steel ammo out of here so I mean, and it's up to you. I've seen so many people in the gun community tell me that they have no problem. They shoot, they shoot wolf and uh, tula ammo out of this thing all the time, and it just works like a champ. 
but it's up to you guys. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there, guys. But uh, in reality, and uh, in closing, this is a great rifle kit, guys. Very well done. Great craftsmanship. Um, I, you know, and I did my homework on this stuff, guys. I'm telling you, I must have spent like a whole month just researching this stuff. And in reality, instead of paying the 680 something plus taxes here in California, along with this and my arrow position lower, I paid a whopping 578. So I'm telling you guys, it's it's a uh, it's a lot cheaper building it yourself, and it's a lot more fun. Uh, you, you're going to get to enjoy learning more about this uh, weapon and how wonderful it is and also be able to help yourself out. The other, the other reason why I did this, guys, because as a, as a soldier, you know, I mean, I'm going to definitely start learning this and how to put them apart, how to, t how to fix them. Because let's say I get deployed to Afghanistan or whatever and I'm in the middle of freaking nowhere and something happens to a rifle or one of my soldier's rifles course you're not going to have a certified armor in the middle of the freaking mountain so learning about this and maybe having the parts yourself be able to fix it would definitely be beneficial and plus it's fun to learn something new okay guys like always thank you for watching god bless you god bless the united states of america and i'm out